Newton Crouch Incorporated presents technical tips. How to place collection pans for extended range swaths. Newton Crouch equipment can spread fertilizer 65, 70, and even 80 feet with extended swath capability. The following method will work with any size swath 60 feet or above. Any swath above 60 feet requires 11 collection pans minimum. When performing our calculations, we omit the center pan. Multiply the total swath width in feet by 12 inches to convert the swath to inches. Now divide the swath in inches by 10 pans. This result is the number of inches between pan center to pan center. First, let's calculate a 70 foot spread pattern. 70 feet times 12 inches equals 840 inches. Divided by 10 pans equals 84 inches pan center to pan center. From center of pan 1 to center of pan 11 is 840 inches as shown in our chart. Now let's calculate an 80 foot spread pattern. 80 feet times 12 inches equals 960 inches. Divided by 10 pans equals 96 inches pan center to pan center. From the center of pan 1 to the center of pan 11 is 960 inches as shown in our chart. Whether you use the center pass or the S driving method, you should always perform a spread pattern test at the beginning of each growing season. You spent the money on equipment, seed, and fertilizer. Spend the time to get it right. The instructions in this video are in your operator's manual. Your manual was made specifically for your unit. The Newton Crouch website also has this information. Go to www.newtoncrouch.com. The Support tab and Technical Support tab will take you to the Dry section where this information is available. Please visit us on YouTube. We are continually adding new tips. Proudly made in America, a family-owned business since 1940, Newton Crouch, Inc.